Vehicle. It's a 63423. You alright? Yeah, good. Kind of suspicious over here. Been been drinking? No? Kind of, I smell marijuana coming from your vehicle, man. Marijuana coming from your Yeah. Really? Yeah, can I search your car? I don't think I want to search my vehicle. Why not? Because we have policies against that. I apologize. Apology? Policies. No, it's just. Oh, you got policies Apology. against. Oh, you apologize. Yeah. <clears throat> even, even if I, I suspect you of committing a crime. And have a pre-notion, preconception that you're doing something wrong. You could be ISIS. Do you have any weapons in the car I should be worried about? No, none, none that uh, a police officer would normally carry. No. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Where are you coming from? Uh, coming from taking care of my work here. Where are you, you coming you, from? You don't, you, you don't look like you're doing anything. You look like you're sitting here looking at the road. I am doing my job, making sure the traffic is all oh, victimless crimes. Yeah, no, no crime being committed. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not a free stater. I'm on a whole different level. I can see. I, uh, I can buy your front shirt. Yeah, I got one too. Oh, you get a sweatshirt too. Nice. <laughs> What's your name, man? My name's Officer Regan, I'm the Manchester Police Department. Regan. How long you been on uh, the force in Manchester? Serving since June of Oh, okay, just a year. Yep. You're originally from New Hampshire? No, from Massachusetts. Oh, no kidding. Yep. What part? You don't mind me asking. Uh, that I'm going to keep to myself. I hope you don't mind. Oh, come on, man. Hey, man, you got to understand. Well, one of, one of the other cops told me they were from Lowell the last week. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave it at Mass, so. I was, born, I was born in Brockton. Okay, all right. Gotcha. I was uh, brought up in Brooklyn, so I get the worst of both accents. There's nothing wrong with that. Accents certainly aren't a bad thing. Nah, you definitely sound like you're from Mass, though. A little bit, little bit of a twang now. Yeah. So, what are you guys up to tonight? Watching you guys. We don't fair get enough. to Manchester often, so. Yeah. Well, that's fair enough. Feel yeah. free. Where are you we're, 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 uh, the car block is uh, uninebriated. So we actually can pay attention a little bit more. <laughs> Fair enough. Man. I know this whole that that whole neighborhood right here is filled with free stadiums. So, oh, you, oh yeah, it's like I think it's like something like 63 just in those four neighborhoods alone. Yeah, we actually came in here to uh, follow up with a, uh, a complaint we got through through our wire. Okay, that's fine. You guys? Now, uh, do you guys have a habit of taking people's phones and uh, recording devices from people when they uh, record you? Typically not, unless it catches a, uh, some kind of evidence of a crime or, or something along those You know it's against the law for you guys to take it even if it's evidence, right? You have to get the information and the county attorney sends them a subpoena or request. I don't know, man. I mean, every situation is different, so, I mean... There's, I no, there's one law. There's one law. You cannot prevent people from recording you. You cannot take their recording device if they're recording you, period. If you ever do that shit to me, man, we're going to have a conversation from the Superior Court judge. Okay. For real. That's, that's fine. Well, it, it's I, weird I that... You, concern. Well, the concern is you just said that unless it, it caught some evidence. It's not right. up to you to take someone else's video recorder. It's already determined in the U.S. Supreme Court. If a public wants to capture that, if, if, if the county attorney wants it, they can subpoena the record. You cannot take their recording device. Okay. You can't do it. But it, it's good to know that Manchester thinks they can because that's why we were up here. Some lady was uh, video recording an arrest yesterday at about 6 o'clock. And this training officer named Officer Finn took her... Uh, took her phone and said we need that for evidence and if you don't give it to me I'm gonna arrest you for obstruction and somebody above them actually captured that on video <laughs> not not very good not very good at all hey man, like I said I mean I wasn't there so it's kind of kind of hard for me to put my take on it so. yeah.
Right. You guys, did you guys ever get hit with that Hollywood batch of heroin here? A lot of overdoses because of that? Uh, I'm not familiar with that, but no. I'm sure you know heroin is a very, very big issue for us right now. Oh, so. I feel like I'm in the 80s again, man, because I'm 41, 41 okay. years old, so. Gotcha. And it feels like the crack epidemic all over again. It really is scary. It's, it is. It's too bad because it's affecting, affecting Yeah, that, that I'm not with the free staters on. They, they consider all drugs victimless bullshit that shit's gonna ruin communities and everybody around them man for real yeah it really is it's scary so we'll be safe do our best absolutely thanks guys yep. have a safe night okay yeah don't forget your cape <laughs>